today. Just before I get to the security issues, what do you make of all of these news coming out of China when it comes to this crackdown on crypto exchanges? We had seen Weibo also really suspend those crypto-related accounts as well earlier in the week. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, as my, in my role of chief security officer, you know, we, we are a global cryptocurrency exchange. Um, we have clients all over the world, you know, you know, you know 90 plus different countries. And our top priority is the security of our clients. Um, you know, that really supports our mission to promote cryptocurrency adoption globally. And security is really a big part of that. Now, you know, as far as, you know, clients accessing our, our exchange and, 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 and accessing places from around the world, you know, that's, you know, that's something that, you know, you know we can't control as an organization. Um, if, the, if a country is going to block them from being able to access um, our, our exchange or other places, um, you know, we need to just make sure that we're available if, they, if they're able to access our exchange. So we have seen some uh, measures that you're taking at your company, uh, including uh, having uh, people really be careful when coming in, really changing into plain looking clothes, uh, and not allowing perhaps their children to access the Wi-Fi and do certain things in your company. Uh, why take such drastic measures? Well, you know, we understand that, you know, security is, is core of everything we do. Um, here at Kraken. And um, our teams, all of our employees, are what we would call productively paranoid. That means we want all of our employees and we, we train all of our employees to be fully present and aware of the security risks that our decisions and actions have at all times. And with this mindfulness in both our personal, and that's specifically around the personal lives, and also the work lives, we've, we've, we have identified and we know that it results in a massive reduction in the likelihood that our employees are going to be the root cause of a security incident or be the be a victim uh, of a security incident. Nick, we spoke just today, actually, with the Democratic Senator Elizabeth Warren, who said that essentially she thinks cryptocurrencies are the Wild West. Take a listen. Banks uh, either holding Bitcoin, that becomes an issue that we need to talk about with the bank regulators. So there are a lot of different pieces to this, uh, and I think the answer that we saw today is that right now our regulators and frankly our Congress is an hour late and a dollar mm. short, and we need to catch up with where these cryptocurrencies are going. You know, with the JBS hacking, we're already hearing from senators on the Senate Intelligence Committee that there needs to be greater oversight into how cryptocurrencies play into these sort of hacking events. It's not exactly great for the image of crypto, right? It kind of goes to the idea that it can be used for untoward criminal purposes. Yeah, I mean, you know, when we think about this, you know, the, the primary driver behind ransomware attacks isn't the existence of cryptocurrency. Um, there have always been malware attacks. There have always been, um, you know, different types of attacks against organizations that that steal intellectual property, that steal client data, that, that that steal, you know, financial information, or even steal funds. There have been lots of compromises of financial institutions over the years. You know, I think this, you know, really just highlights how important the security and how vulnerable many organizations are, um, and they really just don't have their house in order when it comes to security. And then I think, you know, the other piece there, when we think about the FBI um, being able to recover the funds, you know, that we recently just heard about, um, that sort of, like, you know, stamps out the false narrative that, you know, it's out of reach of law enforcement. You know, if the FBI was able to trace these funds um, and, you know, they were able to trace them using online tools. I mean, the, the Bitcoin blockchain is, is a wide open, you know, publicly viewable um, ledger. And so you can see all the transactions there. Um, and so that really, in my mind, sort of debunks the misconception that, you know, it's really the primary use is criminal activity because from a from a criminal perspective you know you know using using you know, you know large amounts of criminal activity you know being on a publicly wide open viewable blockchain um, is, is sort of akin to you know stealing bags of money um, with marked bills and um, and die packs in it and a GPS tracker in it um, it is traceable um, it may not be immediately identifiable, um, but it is definitely traceable. Mm. And um, you know, with a little bit of detective work, like you saw with the FBI um, being able to pull off, they're able to recover those funds and probably will be able to track down who the criminals were as well. So we had ex-employees of JBS tell us at Bloomberg that um, there were calls to spend more on cybersecurity, but that the company didn't consider it a priority, they didn't see an immediate return on investment, that it was a back burner issue. Is this a pretty common approach still, even as we see an acceleration of these kinds of attacks? 
Well, it's definitely not a common approach, I would say, in the cryptocurrency industry. You know, like ourselves as, as Kraken, um, we, we, you know, security is our top priority um, above really all else um, uh, for our clients. But I would say, you know, I spent 20 years um, in the security industry before I jumped into the crypto world. And as a, you know, security investigator, as a security auditor, um, as an incident responder in a, in, a, in a security researcher, and I would tell you that um, I've seen the worst of the worst and I've seen the best of the best, um, but it is, it is rather common uh, for, for comp organizations that are not in the high tech industry, that are not in the financial industry, and of course not in the cryptocurrency industry, to undervalue um, the importance of security. And so when the, the IT groups from those companies you know, go to their executive leadership and say, we need to spend you know, X millions of dollars in order to secure our environment better, um, lots of times you know, it's, the, it's the case um, that those budgets are slashed or maybe even not approved at all. So that, that is very common in, in, in industries that are not in the, in, the, in the technology world or in the, not in the financial space.